going on, everybody? Out and about once again. I'm going for a late night run. I thought I'd stop and do a live with you, a Q&A. This time we're talking about fantasy football draft tips, draft day tips, uh, strategies going into your 2020 fantasy football drafts, just all kinds of draft day advice. What are the best approaches? Do you go wide receiver, wide receiver? Do you go running back, running back? Do you go QB early? Do you wait on a QB? Are there any tips or tricks I have for early drafting in the 1.01, 1.02, uh, 1.05. What about some players or strategies or, or approaches to avoid at the 1.12, 1.11, 1.10? Let's get into all of that. If you have a draft question, a draft strategy question, an approach question, uh, want some advice on a draft you might be partaking in very soon, drop it in the comments here and I will attack it the best way I can. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my show, subscribe and like the video. Comment on the video once I post it. I get back to all my comments like that if you're an early commenter on my videos. So let's get to it. Uh, hit me with a question. What's up, Elgin? What's up, JP? What's up, Dried Ocean? Glad to have you all here. You better hit that thumbs up. Um, when you walk in the door, wipe them feet. Wipe them feet, young men. Uh, so let me kick it off by just saying, well, Sid's got a question. Smitty, do you get the best overall player available? Or but Come on, Sid, you've been following me for like two months now. I preach this at almost every video I do. Best player available. I'm not trying to yell at you, Sid. Um, best player available always. You literally should never draft based on positional need. If you're doing that, yeah, you may fill a void. You may not have any voids at the surface when you look at your team when you're done with your draft. But if you draft based on positional need, you're leaving value on the table. Unless you get lucky and you can draft based on need and position because things line up right. The flow of the draft uh, lines up right. So, Sid, I'm, I'm not trying to uh, – I'm just joking with you. But you have been following me now for a little while, Sid. I see you very active. You're an awesome follower. So I appreciate you, but you definitely want to go best player available. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away, says Hazelnut. Hazel, what's going on? What's up, Savvy? If you're an early commenter, LOL, if you're an early commenter. Why is that funny? Uh, Bailey landed the 1.01. Would you trade your second and third and fifth for the 1.02 uh, and a fourth? So would you trade? Okay. Would you trade your second, third, and fifth for the 1.02? Second, third, and fifth. I probably would, and I'll tell you why. I know that that's giving up a lot, but you guys know my, my thoughts on going and getting the Barkley and McCaffrey approach. I don't like it with – I mean, I like Kamara and Barkley, of course, but that's not the two-headed monster. The two-headed monster specifically – is Barkley and Kamara. And if you go get Barkley and Kamara, you're, you're, you're going to have fun with that. Even if, let's say, Barkley goes down or Kamara goes down, that's life, man. Um, and if Barkley went down or Kamara went down and you just own one of them, you might have a tough time winning anyway. So don't worry so much about that. I take that. And I go with Barkley and Kamara in at least one of your leagues and try out the two-headed monster. With a fourth rounder still, if you still have a fourth rounder, you can still get a Kyler Murray. And then you got the tripod is what I call that. The tripod, baby. Smitty, how do you feel about trading picks in non-dynasty redraft leagues? My league mates are totally against it. I love it. I love trading anytime I can. I'm totally pro-trading on all avenues, all fronts, every single way you can do it. I think it's ridiculous when you can't trade. The only time I don't allow trading is when I have – no ability to control collusion. So, an example, the battle of the, the pimps, the fantasy football showdown, I didn't allow trading because to try and control that would be really, really hard for me, and I didn't want to put everybody else in that position. Um, so, trading draft picks, trading players in general is not allowed in that league because there, there are 96 other teams or 95 other teams that can't, can't control all of that. What's up, Sean? JP says, my dynasty super flex team, Rogers, Cook, Jacobs, Lamb, Judy, Hawkinson, Drake, Breeze. I like it. Nice job. Henry or Chubb. Uh, so 
I, I want to stick on draft strategies and topics, but I don't mind if, if, if you ask, ask these questions too. Um, let's try and think of some good draft questions though as well. What's up, Polly Cat? What's up, um, Sean? So what was that question that, that you had? Henry or Chubb? Henry or Chubb? I'm going to say I like both, and I would rotate that. This is a common answer you'll hear me give, and it doesn't mean I'm being wishy-washy or not trying to give you a straight answer. But you're talking about two very closely ranked players in my book. I take Chubb in one league, and I take Henry in another. I like both of them. Um, I think if you own Chubb, both of them, I guess, are bruising backs that could present injury uh, with a rushing style. But I think that, that Chubb with Hunt is a lock. Um, I went on a, I went on a fantasy football live with uh, State of Mind and in, on Instagram, and, and and he worded it perfectly when I was going over this, saying that Chubb and Hunt are like a lock. You can't get a safer duo than that duo because if Hunt gets in there, Hunt will be a top five running back. Hunt is every bit as good as Chubb. They're both top five talents. And Stefanski in Cleveland will not run two of them. He will spell Chubb, but as long as Chubb's healthy, he's a top five running back. But I think he could get hurt because he's an aggressive, big, bruising back that is aggressive with a style. He, he, he plays offense when he's running the football, not defense when it comes to taking hits. So he's very aggressive. And injury is not out of the question. And, and State of Mind said that it's a bulletproof approach and that's the best way to word that bulletproof hunt and, and chubb is bulletproof that's why you draft cream hunt that's right jp drake or eckler that's an even steven type of thing hazelnut i'm drafting drake in one league and eckler in the other and i'm right both i'm trying to get both on the same team if i'm in that that position but i i honestly i'm i'm torn on that one smitty if ab goes to seattle uh, it doesn't get suspended. Where do you move Wilson in your QB rankings? That's a good question. If AB did land in Seattle and they said no suspension or, you know, we'll suspend him for a couple of games, whatever. Um, I could see ranking AB. I'll start with AB. I could see ranking AB around. I don't know. If I knew he was going to play, there was no suspension and he was going to play week one, which we don't, I don't know that we'll even get that kind of clarity. But if I knew that, I'd probably say he's a top of the third round pick. I mean, easily. And Russell Wilson goes from being, I think, five or six on my QB rankings to being right after Kyler. You know, and you could argue three for Russell Wilson if he had A.B. I don't like that for Lockett at all. Uh, I think... It kind of hurts DK a little bit if, if AB's there. But the truth is, even if AB was going there, I give him half a year before he somehow finds his way off that team. I just, I, mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I give you the Q and you give me the A, says Hazelnut. Savvy says, Smitty, Minnesota Police Station is on fire and hardcore rioting. Your thoughts don't ever remember a police station being set on fire. I think this is bad in so many ways on so many levels. First of all, let's start off with the, the horrible, horrible treatment of that gentleman that was murdered. Um, that's awful. And there is no excuse for it. And things need to happen um, in terms of like, you know, convictions and stuff like that. Like you can't just let somebody get away with that. That's not... That's not misconduct. That's flat out the worst thing that that police officer could have done. At the same time, um, it sucks to see the division because I feel like while there is a lot of bad people out there and and people that aren't good, there still is a lot of people that, that are doing the right thing. And I just think that that's, you know, kind of, a tough spot to be in for all of us because now we've got more division than ever. Um, and it sucks because I feel like so many of us aren't feeling that kind of division between each other. And, you know, I, I don't want to get too political on it. All I know is that's awful. The worst like video I've seen in a long time um, makes me sick to watch it. And, and I, I just don't think, you know, the rioting and all that is also good, good stuff, but 
hopefully it gets worked out and, and people calm down and everybody can work together and, and some action can be taken to help calm the riding. If action is taken, and I think that, to my knowledge, it will be looked into differently than these other situations. Hopefully that will help kind of ease people's mind that, you know, no one thinks that's okay, what that guy did. Thomas or Henry at the fourth pick. Can't go wrong either way. Uh, Thomas or Henry at the fourth pick. Um, Henry at four is too high, man. Way too high. I like Henry, but that's just way too high. Thomas at the four pick. Kamara at the four pick. I mean, I just think you can get Henry. Henry's fallen to like the top, top of the second round at times. Depends if it's PPR or non-PPR. But. On Sleeper U, it says get a free fantasy, fantasy football tips. It doesn't show my email for some reason. Uh, did you e- email me through the contact form and we'll figure it out. We'll square you away. But did you subscribe? I'm not sure what's going on there. Do you think, do you really think Henry will do you really think Henry will be so solid? How, what? I don't know what that means. I'm also watching the live stream from Minnesota on Unicorn Unicorn Riot. Huh? Draft tip number one, take Patty Mahomes. I like that sand. Smitty, how are you? Thumbs up. Thank you, cat fan. Please hit that thumbs up on the way in. I appreciate it. Henry is definitely my fifth pick behind top four. I don't blame you, Avi, so it's not bad. For some reason, I think Henry might bust, says Sid. It's because he's a big runner, aggressive runner, took a boatload of carries last year. Um, he's a big body hitting the ground over and over. He's like a wrestler. He's like the size of a wrestler. It's, you know, that kind of person, I'm sure God didn't design him to be a running back. I'm sure he defied all uh, instruction by his, his Lord, who said, you shall be a linebacker, young man. And Derrick Henry said, no, I won't. I will be a running back if I choose to be a running back. And I don't know that it, he is built to be a long-lasting running back. Royal's in the house. What's up, Royal? So I don't blame anybody for predicting injury for Henry. He's a big dude hitting the ground over and over. Tyreek Hill put on muscle. Dude, Tyreek Hill is lit. Tyreek Hill has top four top three wide receiver capability easily. Yeah, scooters I can't find anymore. They're taken off the market, bro. There's no, there's not a scooter to be found. Otherwise, I'd be riding one right now. Cheetah going off this year, he will definitely be a top five wide receiver. Talking about Tyree Kill, says Avi. Andrew says 1.03 Dynasty picked up a team in the league and was already up, traded around to get young been offered Adams and Nuke for 1.03, Adams or Nuke. Um, I take Nuke for the 1.03 probably. I mean, if Clyde Edwards-Hilaire could fall there, I would rather have Clyde, but I like Nuke. I mean, at, at that pick, you know, Jonathan Taylor or Nuke, I take Nuke. Um, C.D. Lamb I love, but but Hopkins is already better, you know, and, and you, you may never have Lamb become better than – than Hopkins and Hopkins, you know, Lamb's gonna be good, but Hopkins is already top two, so I take that in a heartbeat. Dried Ocean, how to explain this question? But it's a snake draft. Do you prefer to have the middle pick or the late early pick? I always prefer to have the 1.01. If I can't have the 1.01, I always prefer to have the 1.02. If I can't have the 1.2, I always prefer to have the 1.03. I probably prefer to have the 1.04, and then at that point, it can get a little dicey or preference, whatever. But every year, I pretty much will like the one through three, probably the one through four over every single draft slot. And I mock mock draft more than I probably anybody, any of you know. So I have a good feel for why. Who do you think will have a better season, Chark or DK? I think that's going to be pretty darn close. I love both of them pretty close to equally. Um, If I had to pick, I would say DK. What do you think of a better? Oh, I got that one. Drake, Chubb, Eckler, PPR order, please. Sid, I think you asked me this like every you've asked me this before. I think. Um, I quietly like Drake and Eckler. I think I answered it this way too. I quietly, no problem. Not 
again, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm yelling at Sid and I'm not. Sorry, Sid. Um, I, I quietly like Drake and Eckler. I don't want Sid not asking questions because I, he thinks I'm going to yell at him. <laughs> Eckler and Drake, I quietly like a little bit better than Chubb, but you you got you to gotta probably take Chubb early. You don't have to take Chubb earlier, but I feel like it's smart to probably take Chubb earlier. But honestly, I think – I think Drake has the most upside, Sid, but Eckler feels safest, and Chubb, I think, is somewhere in between, and I don't even know how to answer that because I love all of them. You did, but you forgot your answer. Sorry. I shouldn't even I shouldn't even called you out that, Sid. You can ask the same question over and over. I don't care. That's what I'm here for. Like, what am I doing? Take a lap, Smitty. Sorry, Sid. CD Lamb, Gunna, Beast. I think he will be. He's going to be a top five to seven wide receiver. Hit me with something else, Sid. Where do you rank Zeke? I rank Zeke number three overall, 10 times out of 10. Christian McCaffrey will play more wide receiver this year. He's getting 110 catches. And Teddy, more catches, less carries. So for fantasy, I don't know if you're answering someone else's question. Does Joe Mixon have a chance at breaking a breakout year? I'm not a big fan of Joe Mixon. He could, sure. He's got the talent, that's for sure. But I just don't love his situation. He busted on everybody for half a year last year. You know my my stance on Joe Mixon. I don't need to go there. Everyone is low on Kamara, not this guy. I ain't low on Kamara, bro. Not at all. Kamara is a workhorse, and I love when people come on my show in the comments and say, that Alvin Kamara is not a workhorse. It's a laughable statement. Laughable. Laughable. In Dynasty Superflex, should I trade Henry for Dak? That's a good question, but I, I... If it's Dynasty... I mean, that's a tough one, man. Because, like, logically, yeah. But I probably don't. I probably don't. I probably I probably try and get more out of Henry, or I trade. Um, I, yeah, I try and trade Henry, or I just roll with Henry and try and find another quarterback situation. That's a tough one. Everyone, dynasty one QB PPR leagues. When is it appropriate to start reaching for a player? I'd probably say um, when you start getting to that point where you think to yourself, um, I can do without these players. That's when I start thinking about reaching. Like, example, let me give you an example. Um, Larry Fitzgerald, could you use him? Maybe. Maybe. Cream Hunt sitting there. I mean, he can win you a league. So, like, that's a good example. Um, well, you, we'll use Cream Hunt again. Cream Hunt or uh, on Johnson. Give me, give me Cream Hunt. Um, trying to think of another running back. Honestly, like, that's when I feel like I'm going to win a league if I make the right choice and grab a guy with total upside. Everybody, Smitty's favorite spot is the 1.01. Yes, it is, sir. Snatch up Nikhil Harry as your wide receiver five. Yes, Hazel Nutt. I still believe in Nikhil Harry. Steven, he prefers the 1.01. Yes, I do. Highest pick, you're taking Edwards. Um, 20, yeah, 20, 20, 20 to 24, 25 overall in redraft, uh, 2.01 in Dynasty. Not that I won't go higher, but that's where I feel like ADP – can guide you into making the right decision each time and not reaching way too high. So you don't want to reach way too high. Hey, I just traded Carson and Cup for Clyde Edwards Hilaire. You just increased your brain capacity by tenfold. Nice trade. I love that. Carson and Cup for Clyde Edwards Hilaire. That's crazy, man. That's madness. Great job. Jacobs or Godwin PPR Smitty. Go Jacobs. They're going to give him the ball more in 2020. He's going to be a PPR machine hit that thumbs up on your way and we got 36 to 50 people constantly in the live help the show grow help me do more help me do more for you i want to be live constantly i want to be live freaking 25 hours of every 24 hour day but i need your help and support so let's get this bad boy 
uh, growing. The show has grown a ton in 15 months. We've been up for 15 months. I, sometimes I feel like we've been up for like, I don't know, like two, three years on the fantasy football show brand. And I can't believe it's only been like 15, really 15 hardcore months that I've been on. I've been doing the show on YouTube and we have freaking, you know, 4,200 subscribers. So crazy climb. We're going to get to 10 K plus by September. I'm pretty confident. What should we do if we can't get Hunt in the sixth round and can't trade our seventh and eighth? So you already know, Nick, that my, my, my advice is to trade the seventh and eighth for an additional sixth round pick so you don't have to feel too bad about taking the sixth rounder on Hunt. If you can't do that, um, if I, that's when I feel like, you know, you could get in a, a, a position where you have, to, you have to roll with this Chubb and hope that Hunt doesn't get in there. Hunt's not going to take his job, but Chubb is very injury prone. Or will be, I think. I'm predicting him to be. What's up, Robin? You missed just a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You can rewatch that, but ask a question and I, I will try to answer it. What's a good punishment for losing, losing a league? I think wearing some kind of G-string uh, running into the ocean. That's, that's what uh, one of the groups of, of owners did on live on my show or they I played it live on my show and they're they're going to do the punishment this year live on my show at least that's what that's what they said what's up steven who what's up dry dried ocean's got another question who whose value went up more with the digs trade Thielen or cook uh I think Thielen's value went up more. Yeah. I mean, C Cook, they both they both could, could potentially see an increase or it could hurt them. It could hurt the offense and they don't perform. I mean, it's tough to say, but I'd say Thielen, you want in a, an offense that, I mean, Stefanski left Minnesota and he was very, very, I'm going to run everything through the ground game. So Stefanski left and he's now in Cleveland. And you got to think, from what I've hear, they're going to run the same scheme. I mean, everything's going to pretty much be like it was last year. But with Stefanski gone, it's going to be different, naturally. So if they do revert back even a little bit toward the passing game, at least Thielen's going to be the only guy, and, and he'll benefit from that. But I guess I, I could also say that Cook would have been hit a little bit if they navigate back toward a more pass or balanced approach without Stefanski and then you know so that helps Cook to not have two wide receivers there I don't know it's tough to say good question but I, I don't know that we're gonna really know that Smitty will you be updating the ADP on sleeper you guess I will Nick I'm sorry about that I'll do it tonight hopefully if I don't do it tonight please comment on Instagram on one of my posts and say Smitty where's the ADP Smitty where's the ADP don't do it multiple times in one day but do it once a day if, if you don't see it and I'll get on it I promise any late round sleeper rookie wide receivers uh, um, I don't, I don't know about late. I just think it depends what you're talking about late. You're talking about really late, like fourth, fifth round in a rookie draft. I don't know. Uh, I have my rookie rankings up. You can kind of comb through those. I think Claypool's falling far in rookie drafts and he's got upside. I think Mims is falling into the second round. They're not sleepers, but I just feel like, you know, they're still great values. I don't know about deep, deep guys. I mean, Antonio Gibson, who knows what, who uses, how he's used, but, and I don't know what kind of tag you'll have, wide receiver and running back, depending on what goes on. Smitty, your chat is lagging. Sorry about that. Don't know what to do about that. Would you ever draft someone thinking, uh, in the back of your mind, you'll trade them midseason. Absolutely, all the time. I draft Leonard Fournette when he falls way too far in mock drafts. I highly doubt he'll fall far enough for me to actually draft him in a real draft. But I've been in mock drafts before where I went wide receiver, wide receiver from like the 11 pick, and the running backs blue, blue goats. And I'm like, I got to take a guy. There isn't a wide receiver that stands out. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not sacrificing best player available but I do need a running back. And then I draft Leonard Fournette, you know, because in a real draft, I probably would trade him. Let me see if I can move. Maybe this location is giving me some bad Wi-Fi action. Or, uh, I'm sorry, 5G. 
Joe, Joe Reed, Odo Beckham Jr. in the fourth round. Absolutely. He is so good. Um, for sure. I like Odell in the fourth. I think in the third is a little too high, but in the fourth, I like him a lot. With Riviera being... You value Geist more than whoever ends up being the... I don't value Geist much at all, to be completely honest with you, man. That guy is an injury-prone player. Injury waiting to happen. Um, I'm going to sit down over here. Trying to move that people keep kind of coming where I'm at. I'm like, dude, we're still social distancing, biatches. <sighs> All right, what do we got here? AP over Geis. Probably, I mean, I, Dynasty, no, but I mean, AP still had a, a better year than I thought last year. I think he had like 898 or something on the ground. It was crazy. I didn't even know that. Swift potential could be. Solid running back two, maybe. Swift's growing on me. I just feel like we've seen – we thought carry-on was going to be good. Detroit doesn't know what they're doing, but I feel like Swift – like, here's the thing. People say, how could Swift do bad? I'll tell you how. Detroit could run two running backs. Carry-on could somehow stay healthy because he's only playing half-time, and they run both of them half-time. Like, it's possible. Don't act like it's not possible. It's for sure possible. But I do like Swift at the right value. I love Daniel Jones, says Hazelnut. But he has a rough few games to open up the season. Don't worry about that. He can throw a ton. Man, this guy is never inside. Laughing my ass. Marco, I am inside, bro. A lot. Um, but I like to stay outside and do – I like to run late at night. So here's the option, Marco. I could either – just do my lives and my videos indoors, which I already do. And I could not add additional lives where I go running at night, where I talk to you outside, which is going to always be outside when I go running. So if I go running and work out and I, I decide to throw an extra video in, that video will be outside. So yes, you will see me outside on any of these videos because it's late at night. I'm doing a little fireside or wa water side chat with you. Um, David Montgomery is a wild card. I am right, Smitty. Chicago blows. If you live somewhere that's outside like Arizona, why would you want to be inside all the time? Marco says Colby. Yeah, Marco. Just kidding. Marco, you're my guy. I'm just joking. But to answer your question, I go running a lot, and I like to, to talk to you guys while I'm already out. Fresh air is good, too, man. I'm cooped up all day long, creating videos, creating content, doing IG. I was, I was live on IG for like – four hours today if you're not following my following me on ig go follow me on ig i'm live all the time i was live for like four hours and so i'm getting out i'm getting out i'm jk i'm jk chill haha ha, same team i know we're joking with you back marco chill back marco marco is one of the silva brothers by the way the, the legendary Silver Brothers that are amazing parts of this community. So, Marco, you know I'm joking with you. Go sign up at Sleeper U, y'all, says Nick. Thank you, Nick. I'd be more concerned if you were inside all the time and never went outside to enjoy the weather, says Mike. You nailed Cook last year. Who's this year's Dalvin Cook? Uh, Drake and Eckler, baby. I mean, Eckler can't really be called Dalvin Cook. At this point, because he's climbing, he could have been because he's going in the late second round in January. So I don't care if he's known or not. Dalvin Cook was a known commodity. But now Eckler's going at like 11 to 14. So he's no longer a Dalvin Cook. But Drake can fall still. I think in most worlds, Drake is falling to at least 2.18 or 2.1, oh, 2.108. Or 2.10 or 3.01. Um, Mark Andrews, Dak Prescott, AJ Brown, PPR, says Sid. I don't know what that means. Who's a sleeper wide receiver in Dynasty Smitty? Hollywood Brown, baby, all day long. Avi, Avi even said it right here. Sand even said it. 
top 10 wide receiver potential. Don't draft him as a top 10 wide receiver. I hate that when someone comes to me and says, ha ha, ID fam, I'm out. Much love. Where are you going, Marco? Marco's joking with you. I'm never joking with people anymore. They take it too seriously. Woods or Cup? Probably Woods. A.J. Brown or Galladay? A.J. Brown, but I love both. C.D. Lamb, I like him. Even a redraft as a late 3-4, sure. Edelman. Yeah, Edelman's ADP is kind of weird. Kind of whacked. Where are you going, Marco? Is your brother replacing you? I work at 6 a.m. Got to get that bread. Thank you, Marco. I appreciate you being here. Again, I was just joking, man. Evans or Edelman? JP screwing with me. Oh, almost dropped my piece and bounced it in the water. Do you think Indy will have a running back by committee? I think they for sure will to kick off the year. What's a joke, Antonio? Oh, yeah, he was taking a joke. I think he was. I think he was joking. Hollywood or J.K. Dobbins, choose one. Give me Hollywood. But if we're talking about dynasty, that's in redraft. If we're talking about dynasty, I mean, it's close, man. Uh, by the way, I might have these um, as a part of some giveaways that I have. This is smitty1.com. has a YouTube logo. Um, the other ones I'm having made are uh, they have black print on them, so they're a little easier to read. These are kind of like subtle. This is the fantasy football show with a YouTube logo. Smitty1.com. Um, I'll be giving these away and some stuff that I'm doing. Cocoa or Fruity Pebbles. I take Frosted Flakes or Honey Nut Cheerios. Call me old school. What about rugs? I do like rugs, but I don't know about re- maybe redraft, maybe maybe late, like a bench guy that could turn into something. Sure. Why not? Money League Saturday. Maybe Nick. Freeman, a good flyer. Uh, Freeman? Freeman who? Royce Freeman? Not really. I mean, you got that's he's like third layer, bro. We got Lindsey peel back a layer, then you got Freeman hiding in there. That's just too many layers for me. I go Melvin Gordon, maybe back him up with Lindsey if the price is right, and it should be. Chubb or Jacobs? I go Jacobs in Dynasty Chubb. I feel like we'll have a shelf life shorter than Jacobs. Jacobs has low tread. He was low tread in college too. Um, Chubb, I love. But I think they're both equal now, and Jacobs has to have better dynasty value. So, easy call for me. Brandon Cook's thoughts. I like him. At the right price, wide receiver three, sure. Now he meant Devonta Freeman. Um, I mean, let's see where he goes. Like, I'm not going to say never on him because Freeman I don't think is washed up. I think he had a bad situation, which a lot of people think Gurley's in a great situation. Gurley's not in a great situation. You watch. There's a reason Freeman struggled so bad. I bet you Freeman's a lot better still than he he showed. And he had a good PPR production regardless of how bad he did and how badly they used him and poorly they used him. He still had a lot of PPR work. I like Freeman more than people think. And I won't admit to it. For some reason, when I comment, it doesn't update my chat. I have to go out. I don't know. I don't know, Colby. Maybe uh, restart your phone. Restarting your phone fixes about 99% of all IT problems. Over starting your computer. Come back and tell me that I'm wrong on that. I bet you're restarting it fixes it. Devonta Freeman. Okay. In fourth round of a dynasty startup email draft, got Kamara, Eckler, and Julio so far, A.J. Brown or D.K. Go A.J. Brown. Try and get both, but go A.J. Brown. Don't forget Clyde Edwards Hilaire if he's still sitting there, bro. Don't forget Hollywood Brown later. Don't forget Kyler Murray right around here as well. you got yourself some good options, man. Hilaire needs to come out of the gate swinging. He doesn't have to, Sand, but I hope he does. I think a lot of rookies will start off somewhat slow, but I bet you they count on rookies more than ever in 2020 because I think a lot of veterans are going to get hurt, soft tissue injuries, pulled groins, pulled hammies, pulled calf muscles. We're going to see a lot of injuries in 2020 with veteran players, older players that have not gotten the proper care, nutrition, and oversight in 2020 offseason, and it's going to lead a lot of injuries. A lot of the young bucks are going to be called upon, and I think those guys will be in more shape. Snoop Dogg says, I doubt 
especially in year one what? They said Clyde Edwards Hilaire will already start the season with passing downs. Worried about Christian McCaffrey and Zeke getting overworked. In Dynasty, I could understand that. Reminder, we need a replacement for the Drake League. Thank you, JP. If anybody wants to, to take over a team in a league we have, um, DM me on Instagram. It's like a $10 or $15 a year league. I don't know that we'd even make you – I don't know. It, we might even make you pay the first year. I'm not sure. Uh, DM, DM me on IG, Nick. Standard League, Jacobs, Chubb, or Eckler? Uh, that question, I think, is very similar to the other one, and I'm going to say in Dynasty, it's non-PPR. I'm going to go Chubb, Jacobs, Eckler. If it's PPR, I'm going to go Eckler, Jacobs, Chubb, and if it's redraft standard, um, same, same order as I gave you, Chubb. Jacobs Eckler. Mark Andrews, Dak, A.J. Brown, PPR in order. I would go A.J. Brown, Mark Andrews, Dak, only because I like a few other quarterbacks better than Dak, and I think you can still get them. Sleeper tight end. Hawkinson I like a lot in Detroit. Um, Gronk. In Tampa Bay, seems to be laughed at on number at number six on my tight end ranking. So apparently, you can get Gronk at eight, ten or eleven. That's a sleeper for you. Um, Evan Ingram, if he falls, he could go number four or five for your tight ends, or he could go to eight or nine. People are all over the map on on Ingram. Someone got me hungry with cereal. I want cereal right now. You like A.J. Brown over Galladay? Yes, I do, Sid. Although, I might draft Galladay ahead of him. Like, strategically. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm in a mock and I'm going wide receiver, wide receiver at pick 23 and pick, or, I don't know. Said scenario where those picks are kind of close and I think I could get away a little longer, letting, not real long, a lot long, longer amount of time but maybe half a round like if I traded up and had two picks whatever any scenario you can paint where I have two somewhat close picks I'd probably go Galladay first then AJ Brown because I think you can get away with it what's up Rich Roger better value at current ADP Brown or Scary Terry um, Hollywood Brown right now six seventh round Scary Terry five to seventh round they're kind of like sometimes flip-flopping if you mean AJ Brown AJ Brown might climb into the second round soon I'm getting really upset about that Uh, the team that's going to be taking over, Nick, has Montgomery, Akers, Russell Wilson, Diggs, Lockett, Carson, Claypool, a bunch of draft picks. Is McCa uh, McCarthy scheme more pass run heavy? Um, TBA on that one. We don't know what's going to happen. More than likely... Yeah, heavy pass, I guess. Smitty, why is Singletary not higher in, in the ADP? I don't know. I don't control ADP. All I can say is take advantage of it, my brother. Um, I think people are scared. Zach Moss is not that. I mean, he's good, but he's not that threatening. And plus, Singletary's locked into PPR work. And you didn't expect Singletary to run for 1,400 yards anyway. Somebody had to take like four or five hundred five hundred dollars four or 500 yards off his plate. Anyway, so I don't know why people are scared of him, but I think it's good because I, I kind of feel like he had some risk because we don't know how Buffalo is going to use him. A.J. Brown or Kittle, I'd probably go Kittle. Kittle's got about a round higher ADP currently. Do I think A.J. Brown will be better? Probably, but again, draft smartly around that. But, I mean, good question, Sid. I like A.J. Brown and Kittle, man. I, I love them both. You could go back-to-back. You know, at Kittle at, at 23 overall and in the top of the second round, or your second pick in the second round, take A.J. Brown. It wouldn't be crazy. Uh, 
I hope I'm not getting the coronavirus. We got we got fevers at home. We got fevers at home. Oh, thank you, Ricky, with a super chat. Keep grinding, Smitty. Ricky, I might use this nine ninety nine on a copay. Go to the doctor, see if I've got the corona. Um, got some fevers at home, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's allergies. Hopkins thinks he's the best in the league. Well, he kind of is. Him and him and Mike Thomas are about the same. You know what sucks is like right now, we've been in quarantine for so long, someone's bound to get sick in your family or have allergies or whatever. And it's like at this point, you know, we've had so many false alarms where there's been a fever or coughing or sore throat. And like no one we've known has had it. And we've had a lot of those scares throughout like the family and friends circle. So he keeps ignoring me. Well, you had your shot. I was going to read your question right there. But instead, you said I'm ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you, man. Look how fast the comments are going by. Hit me again and I'll answer your question, bro. Oh, super chat. Ricky, keep grinding. Oh, I saw that. Thank you, Ricky. I appreciate you, Ricky. Ricky's keeping the lights on today. Just my boy proven he should get bread. He deserves it, though. Bob disrespected him. What? Rank these players. Hollywood Brown, A.J. Brown, Cooper Cup standard. Redraft. Uh, A.J. Brown, Hollywood Brown, Cup. That's how I rank them. A.J. Brown is more of like a third rounder. Hollywood Brown's a fifth to, or sixth to seventh rounder. And Cup is probably a, in my mind, Cup's a fourth. I see Cup going the second round and I'm shaking my head. No, no, it's way too high. I mean, Cup could be good, but no. Cup's like a fourth rounder. But I take I like Hollywood better. I don't take Hollywood ahead of him. I'm just giving you my ranking. Definitely use, you know, ADP to your advantage on that. Smitty is number one. Best insight on fantasy in fantasy football arena. Not even close. Thank you, Rich. Ridley, is he a steal ADP-wise? Ridley could be. Absolutely. I think people are, are scared of him right now. Hit those likes, people. Please hit the likes, the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Yeah, standard. No thanks to standard. Odell does not have a QB. Not that we're aware of yet. Maybe Baker Baker doesn't disappointment maker the 2020 season. Bob is how I say Bill O'Brien. Okay. I feel so bad for the Texans fans out there. J.J. Watt may not even come back when his contract is up. Like up for the man Smitty. The GOAT. Thank you, Avi. Like up. Saddle up, like up, buckle up. Why are people hyping Gurley up? I have no idea, JP. He's in Atlanta. Atlanta's not a great spot. You know, in hindsight, I don't know why I even remotely rooted for Atlanta to be Melvin Gordon's home. I wouldn't trade you Denver for Atlanta for Melvin Gordon's landing spot if you gave me the opportunity. Denver is so much better than Atlanta. Jacobs, Eckler, Drake, all over Mahomes at the 18 pick. Not necessarily Avi. I think, I think probably would be smart if it's dynasty. I mean, Mahomes is with you for a decade, outscoring everybody. I get the appeal of waiting. Odds are you're better off going Drake, Eckler, or Jacobs. Probably. I would say Jacobs might have the longer career out of all those, but we might be talking about half a year or a year. Drake, Eckler, Jacobs, all those guys, and a Kyler Murray later might be a little bit better. So I would probably take one of those running backs and hope that Mahomes does fall, if not take Kyler at, in the fourth round. End of the fourth round, top of the fifth, Kyler might be there. Kyler's been dropping in, in novice leagues, man. Kyler's been there. So Kyler and Drake way outweigh Mahomes and whoever you could get. So I do love the waiting on a QB approach with Kyler, who's still not waiting because people think drafting Kyler at 4.12 or 5.03 is still early. That's fine by me. I think it's early all you want. Oh, 
Odell Beckham Jr. value. I think he's a fourth round. Uh, good, good swing, good bet. That's a good hand to get Odell Beckham Jr. in the fourth round. Don't play that hand in every league, but in one league, why not? Gurley's back home, doesn't matter. Who's the next Lamar or Mahomes? Next Lamar or Mahomes is Kyler for sure, bro. Uh, Kyler for sure. Xander with the super. Hey, Smitty. What's, thanks, Xander. appreciate you, man. I appreciate all of you that keep, help keep the lights on here. What are your thoughts on JT's mileage? Um, he almost had 1K carries in college. Um, sorry, I'm getting a phone call constantly. Uh, what was the question? JT's mileage? Uh, JT's mileage. You mean JK's mileage? Who's JT? Who do you mean by JT? Uh, also, what are your thoughts on Allen Robinson and redraft and dynasty? I like Allen Robinson and redraft at about like, I don't know, probably later than I probably get, would get him. I see people drafting him at like top of the fourth, and I just feel like there are better options. I'm getting A.J. Brown all day long versus that. Um, as far as JT, oh, Jonathan Taylor. Sorry, I was <laughs> I was thinking you were trying to say J.K. Uh, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, here's the thing. I really believe this. I believe Jonathan Taylor. I like J.K. Dobbins better than I like Jonathan Taylor. And I know I'm going to take a lot of heat for that. I'm not drafting J.K. higher than Taylor. I'm drafting Taylor number two overall or number three. I might take C.D. Lamb number two in a rookie draft, to be honest with you. But Jonathan Taylor, fumble concerns. Um Running back by committee, no PPR work in 2020. I mean, to a degree, you got you got Hines. Naheem Hines is a very good PPR back. You got Marlon Mack, a very good PP, PPR back. You have a shortened offseason, a modified offseason for a running back that has to learn how to pass or pe- pass protect. And mm-hmm. on top of that, when you consider the fact that Rivers won't know everybody and mesh with his offense yet. It's going to take him some time throwing in a rookie running back to protect him and to try and um, pick up the playbook that quickly. Like that's not going to be a very exciting prospect right out of the gate for the Colts. So I think you're really, 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 really looking at a potential three headed monster to start off the year. And that's going to be not so good for Uh, Jonathan Taylor owners for weeks one through five, maybe. So for me, I'm kind of staying away from Jonathan Taylor if I can, even in rookie drafts. And I know a lot of people won't like that. I think he's got a lot of talent, but I like JK better. I like CD Lamb better. I love Clyde Edwards Hilaire better. So don't expect Jonathan Taylor to command all. He won't command the PPR work. He just won't. Is there a chance they run him right away? Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe Mac gets hurt in we in the, in the, in the early part of the year or right before week one. I mean, so many things could play out. Edward Solaire, pull the trigger on him. Absolutely. Sand. Um, by the way, thank you for that super chat. Uh, Xander, you're the man and a Rob again, I don't know what to tell you on dynasty value. I'd feel like I'm avoiding him to the point where I, I almost don't even have a good feel of his ADP between redraft and dynasty and how far different they are. I imagine Allen Robinson's going in the fourth round and redraft maybe fifth or sixth round in dynasty or fifth round in dynasty. And I just feel like there are a lot of players I like better most times. Um, Chenault is going to ball out, says Ricky. Devontae Parker is the next. Jim, Bob, um, if you were to take the second – Take a second tight end in a two. Would you consider Irv Smith in a second tight end super? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't have a great feeling about Irv, bro. To be honest with you, CD get a hundred targets year one. Could, could. I think CD Lamb's a top five to seven wide receiver in one and a half years. Maybe two. CD Lamb will be a top five to seven wide receiver. I really think that can happen. I think he makes he makes Amari Cooper the number two wide receiver very quickly. 
Is Taylor not way better than Mac though? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say he's way better than Mac. Mac's a good run. Mac was a running back one last year. Mac walked into 2020. Um, now, granted, you didn't draft him in the first round, but everybody thought and they knew, and, and it, wasn't, it wasn't a pipe dream or it wasn't like a misguided thought. He was a running, a low running back one that had a whole lot of injury risk, so no one wanted to touch him anywhere near running back one value. But Mac was a running back one. Everybody knew he could play that well. Mac's a good running. I would not call Jonathan Taylor that much better than Mac. I know a lot of people are going to say that stupid, stupid talk, but I don't, I don't care, man. I, Mac's a good running back. Mac is really good. Can't guard Mike will be the same as last year. I love, I love, uh, I love Mike Thomas. I think he's going to ball out, but that's not shocking. Rogers, stay away from. Rogers, stay away from AJ Green. I agree. Andrews, Dak Prescott, AJ Brown. Please order them. I forgot your answer. So sorry, sweet. Don't apologize. I should have never, should have never joked with you about that. You ask as many times as you want, Sid. That's why I'm here. Andrews, Dak, AJ Brown in order. I would say AJ Brown, Mark Andrews, then Dak. This season seems to be the year of late wide receivers. Absolutely. If you're going, if you're picking out 11 or 12, go running back, running back, because I think. You can't really screw up the running back, running back from that position. There are far too many running backs falling. You can get a Drake. You can get an Eckler. You can get a Derrick Henry. You can get a Nick Chubb. You can get two of those four guys almost nine times out of ten. And then at your wide receiver, wide receiver move in the third and fourth round, you don't even have to go wide receiver, wide receiver. You can go Drake and Jacobs or Eckler and Jacobs or Eckler and Drake at 12 and 13 overall. And then in the fourth round, you could go uh, – third round, you could go um, A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf, whoever you want there. And then in the fifth round, you could go Kyler Murray. Absolutely love uh, the running back, running back, wide receiver, QB, or running back, running back, wide receiver, wide receiver from the 11 and 12 spot in 2020. Probably two of my favorite uh, approaches for that. Um, J.K. all day. John, what was your question? I'm not trying to ignore any of you. So if anybody thinks I'm not answering their question, John says, should I trade J, uh, JK? Should I take JK Dobbins at 1.03 or lamb in dynasty? Uh, John, I would take lamb. It depends if you need a running back. It's one of those things where those guys are ranked pretty closely. Um, but I, I love, I love JK. I love JK a lot. I think JK is going to be a star. If, if he's used properly. But the one thing I'd say that, that pushes um, CD over the edge for me is that CD lamb is absolutely going to be the wide receiver one in Dallas. And it won't take him as long as people think. I think JK has Mark Ingram in his way. And while Mark Ingram is not a spring chicken, he's a veteran. He's a leader. He's like best buds with Lamar. Um, he's vocal. Uh, he, he played ball. He balled out last year. And I just don't know that we have any guarantees that he's going to get hurt or not linger for a year and a half. I'm drafting JK over. I'm trading down probably and trade and drafting JK over Taylor, but that's me. I'm, I mean, I'm a little bold. I'm a little out of the box outside the box type of thinker. Um, but CD lamb, I feel is a lock. I go CD lamb. That's me. Sid, even if you ask a question, it could be a common question and could help the group. Yes. I, I should have. I, I feel bad because I kind of joke around. I jokingly yelled at Marco and Sid, and I shouldn't have. Get some chips, ahoy, and almond milk. I need to go get some cereal. AJ Brown or Kyler Murray, PPR in order, please. A.J. Brown, I think Sid's going to be our order, please, guy. And that's okay, Sid. You keep doing you. Uh, I'm going to say A.J. A lot of people like the order thing. A.J. Brown or Kyler Murray. You, and the crazy part is you ask tough ones because they're at their cross position. A.J. Brown for me and then Kyler, but they're damn close. And I think Kyler typically can fall to the fourth round. A.J. Brown's kind of needing to be grabbed in this third round right now, late third round. But I love owning both of them on the same team, Sid, because you can grab A.J. Brown at the late third 
in in fourth if you can, and Kyler Murray in the in the fourth. So Adrian Brown in the third, Kyler in the fourth, or if you're lucky playing with your grandma and Bob from accounting, you might be able to get AJ Brown in the fourth and Kyler in the fifth, and then you win your championship. <laughs> Can you imagine walking out of your draft, out of your your accountant, you know, floor two draft from your your office building? You know, you go to floor two where accounting is, and you're like, hey, Bob, let's draft this weekend. And you get Zeke Elliott. Um, you make a bold – you get Drake. You get Zeke Elliott. You get Eckler in the second. You get Drake in the third. You get uh, A.J. Brown in the fourth and Kyler in the fifth, and you just spank everybody. That's what happens in novice leagues, man. A.J. Brown ADP is too high, and it makes me mad. Well, it might not climb that high for in every league you're in, man. A lot of people still think he's a fourth rounder. A lot of people are now thinking he could be a second. A TD for CD. Hey, Smitty, I'm in a super flex six points per TD uh, passing league. I traded my seventh and uh, rookie first for Josh Allen thoughts. Depends who's there. It's really hard to answer that question, Xander, without the, the details. Um, what is your seventh? What what player was drafted or could have been drafted? Give me a couple names at that seventh and a rookie first. It depends where the rookie pick is. So can you tell me where you think those are? I had Cook, Godwin, and Jacobs all get injured last year. Dried Ocean and the Throne League, the Fantasy Football Throne League. If you don't know what the Throne League is, guys, it's a draft that I created. Uh, b- biggest Fantasy Football League probably ever created that is of the of its kind at least um more like most followers involved and basically you guys draft my team and i i I have 11 other fantasy football pages or shows involved and their followers draft their teams so when we're on the clock and we're going to be drafting in june so we'll do the live draft order i think in a week or so on my instagram live make sure you follow me on instagram at the fantasy football show same handle as on youtube and we're going to do the draft order. And when I'm on the clock, let's say we get the seven pick. You guys, I will go live on IG, YouTube, you name it. Take a poll, and I will draft who you guys tell me. And then every expert goes into the season with the team that their followers drafted for the expert. So, yeah, the Throne League is fun. Oh, the reason I brought that up is um, someone up above said that they had everybody get hurt. We had Mahomes and Kamara get hurt. So I feel the pain. Hayden Hurst, sleeper tight end. I was with Couch last year. Are you with me this year, Roger? Did I convert you? Did I like Galladay there? But uh, I forget what. Did I like Galladay there? I don't know. I don't know what you mean, but I like Galladay. I like Galladay, Ricky, regardless of what you're talking about. Smitty, check my DM later. Want to show you my list of my top 80 players. Okay, Avi. I'll try and take a gander. I'm with Smitty, says JP. Last one for tonight. Gesicki, 1.6, 2.12, or Andrews, 2.03. Uh, um, I take Andrews, man. I mean, it depends. Like, it's tough because when you put a, a player to that pick, like if it's Mims or if J.K. Dobbins fell, I'd rather have J.K. Dobbins. Um, Mims is close because I love Andrews. I think Andrews is a top four tight end. Very, very tough. Yes, you did, Smitty, even though we disagree on Mixon. Okay. Roger, I could be wrong on Mixon. The talent's there, so there. If if you believe he'll stay out of trouble, if you believe that Burrow will be lights out from the start, then, you know, the talent is there. So I'm not going to be right on everything. Every time I type Sid, it comes up out. FS Stafford could be a great value at QB. He could, but there's so many QBs. It's tough to even start Stafford. No mixing. He was partying yesterday, says JP. That's why I'm afraid of him. Nick, I wa- or, uh, JP, I want you to report to me every time he parties, and I want you to send me a screenshot. Nick, why am I calling you Nick, JP? I'm so sorry. JP, every time Mixon parties, I want a screenshot and a DM, and I'll put it on my stories and tag you. You are in charge of that. No fake stuff, only if it's a legitimate new live. And if you still can go capture, 
last night's live and you published it or whatever, take a screenshot, DM me. I'm going to tag you each time. You're now in charge of that. You are, you are assigned to Mixon until the season starts. It's your one and sole job, JP. Get on it. Smitty getting tired. I am getting tired. Joe Burrow did. You know my t- how, how long I've been live today? I was live on IG for like three or four hours, and, and now it's been 60 minutes here. I'm going to go later, Smitty. Have a good night. See you during the, the IG live. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Please hit that thumbs up on the way out. Thank you for all that super chatted. Uh, Xander, um, uh, Ricky, all of you guys, I appreciate you. Add a banana hammock to your – what? Okay, maybe. Smitty, good night. Thank you, Nick. JP's on it. Good. JP, get on that. Go find me a, a, a photo of the last one, though. I want, it. I want a fresh one right now, JP. Go get it. All right, later, guys. So, uh, hit the thumbs up on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't. And get on over to sleeperu.com. Sleeper, the letter U.com.